beautiful people and once again welcome back to my youtube channel beauty meets business i am your girl the empowered angel robinson and here is the beautiful car we're here today to give car a maintenance cut her hair has grown all out you guys oh my god look at this we don't know what this is we're gonna call this joe dirt it look like a mullet so we gonna get her all maintenance back up and we'll see you guys with the first step to this beautiful cut all right beautiful people so today we're point cutting with thinning shears i'm showing you guys new techniques that i use in the everyday salon business easy ways to cut hair without taking those crazy classes that's way too advanced for you guys i'm showing you easy steps then go take the classes that's how you're gonna do that so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna tighten up her sides with the thinning shears and we're gonna make her top super funky and playful and you guys are gonna freaking love it that's all that matters step one is parting the hair and like I do in all my videos, don't judge me. I'm a barber, I'm not a hairdresser. So don't hold me up to those standards. I learned how to cut hair in barber college. I learned how to do hair in these streets. <laughs> so I'm gonna part the hair out. You guys, all these cuts are exactly the same. It's just all about how you execute technique and style at the end of the day. At the end of the day. <laughs> Technique and style, remember that. Same here, separating her top from her bottom using a U shape because I always go with the shape of the head. But I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna use pieces of slices. I call these pieces of slices. They're vertical parting. If you want the technical term, because some of you guys are too technical. Have fun, for God's sakes. All right, so I'm gonna part this first part out, which is her hairline, because I always like my hairlines to be soft. I'm gonna start here, and I'm using vertical partings. I'm going to pull the hair out 90 degrees from the head. Straight out, comb here, shears here, creating a guide. Pieces volume, 
So I'm just gonna basically pull this hair back, blend it with the rest of the cut, and go from there. And I'm always finding my guide. If you ever notice when I cut the sides and I'm blending the top with the bottom, I never hold the shear straight up. I always hold it out. That's how the rainbow is created. I'm gonna create short pieces in here for movement. So I simply just bring that forward, hold up a group of hair and just cut big chunks out of it. That simple. You don't need to do it twice. Once is enough when you have this many teeth in your thinning shears. But look at that, that nice shape to this cut. You can see it tapered back. That 90 a fool, I told you. All right, molding time. Once again, I'm gonna use Nairobi Leave-In Conditioner. And it's okay to mix and match your products. I know I'm gonna get some slack for mixing and matching my products, but I do what works best for my client's hair. You know, I like systems, don't get me wrong, I do. But I like to mix and match. And if mixing and matching don't work for you, by all means, don't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna use, uh, once again, this Influence Honey Foam, I can't say it enough. It's, it works very well on thick hair. And Cara and Tiffany, hair is the thickest of the thickest of the thickest. I mean, this girl hair is, it's not even hair, it's fur. This particular mold is called the Charlie's Angels Mold. It's a beautiful mold. I hope you guys like this mold, Charlie's Angels mold. The reason why I call it that is because I opened up a new salon, Charlie's Angels Beauty Bar. Check her out, we're right here in her. And if you're ever in Charlotte, come shadow your girl. I offer shadowing classes, one-on-one -on -one classes, and motivating and inspiring and consultation classes. We all need it, include myself. I pour into you as well as you guys pour into me. So if you need me, reach out to me. Holla at your girl. See you guys in a minute. We're going under the dryer. All right, beautiful people. Once again, we're back with the beautiful Cara. And this mold is everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. I almost don't even want to touch it. I think curls might ruin it. Right, Car? No, Car like her hair curl, so we gonna curl it. But you guys, you get the picture. You see what I see. Without it even being curled, she can go home like this. So when you cut with those thinning shears, they texture the hair and thin it out at the same time. So make sure their hair is thick. You don't wanna be using these shears on thin or fine hair. That is my disclaimer. <laughs> so I'm going in, I'm gonna curl her, you guys. See you guys. Oh, come close. I don't have to see you guys soon. Come close. <laughs> A little formations by Design Essentials. I'm gonna use my H2 Pros, my macros to do the entire style. Well, at least I thought I was going to use the macros. I'm picking up the ions for the very front. Once again, you already know it. These and is just super. This 120 of food. I'm going to clean her neck up. Line her up. We almost there, hold tight. I like to keep her natural hairline. I guess you guys already see that. No explanation needed, just look at that hairline. 
man, if God blessed me with this kind of hair, I probably wouldn't even be a hairdresser. I'd be in these streets all day just shaking my hair and showing out. I'm picking up them detailers, and I'm going to finish her off. Just like Tiffany, Carr and Tiffany have very similar hair, very similar styling technique as well, very similar cutting technique, but the execution with this curling technique off the chain. This is Charlie's Angels mold. Check this mold out. So we're in a complete 360 circle with funkiness in the middle. Super soft, super soft. Nothing's hard about this hair, honey, and so playful. Now I always like to play with this middle part here. Sometimes I use a little formation, spray right around it, and then I take it and I make pieces, I pull pieces. I'll this is bad, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And you wouldn't believe what they told me when I was young, I couldn't do no hair. What? <laughs> I'm telling you, don't believe nothing nobody say. Believe in yourself. I don't care if your mama told you you can't do your hair. Do no hair. You better do some hair. <laughs> yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. All right, you guys, like I said, Tiffany and Cara has very similar hair textures, very similar cuts, but look at the style. Check out their styles. Very similar, but they fit each individual person. I want you guys to know that it's only one way to be, and that's your damn self. Find myself on each person. No matter who sits in my chair, I'm here to cater to them, the individual. So understand that all you have to do is keep working towards your goal, your dreams, your visions. It's gonna happen. It took 27 years for me to get here on this platform. Do you understand that, beautiful people? 27 years, and I'm still pumping this thing out. Nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. Remember this at the end of the day. You are unstoppable.